You know what? Uh, two on in the bottom of the ninth, one out right now. They could walk this off right now. All right, Rangers, a surprise team out there, like a lot of teams in baseball 100%. right now. 23 or 30 teams got a realistic shot of making the postseason. Nobody expected this out of the Rangers. So with that being said, how should they handle the trade deadline? Remember, there's only one trade deadline this year, so they got to make a break in the next three three weeks. Switch? Uh, I, I think they just need to stick to the process right now. I think really? That, you got to remember, man, where they are, this is a major jump in the right direction for them, mm -hmm. but they are behind the Houston Astros as well. I mean, this team has been to the World Series umpteen years in a row. It just seems like they know exactly what they're doing right now. I think the one thing that they have for them is they have a star in Joey Gallo. Mm -hmm. I think I was able to spend some time with him at the All-Star game. The kid just knows what he's doing, right? He's made the adjustments this offseason. He's come back, put together an all-star season right now. You can build around guys like that. They've done a great job. They really have. Joey's obviously having a great season, but, you know, I, I look at it this way. You know, winning's hard. Winning's mm -hmm. hard at the major league level, and when you had a chance to win, you might have to pull out any stops you've got to try to get it over the top and see if you can give, give your fans at least a playoff spot. See, I like that, Terry. I like that. I mean, like, <laughs> come on, why man. not now? I know they're going into a new stadium next year, man, but they're only two and a half games out of a wild card. They're playing well, could surprise some teams. If you run off, say they run off eight or nine wins in a row, and then all of a sudden they're really in contention and the fans are starting to think. And then in the clubhouse, the players are saying, this could be our year. Our year to do what? Our year to get into the playoffs and anything can happen uh, uh, once you... Uh, so you just want to get into the playoffs? You no, know, anything can happen once you get into the playoffs. There could be injuries to other teams. Other things could happen. You could just get hot at the right time. Right. What's the message that you send to some of those veteran players if you say, you know what, we're just going to wait for next year? Well, well, I, I think this team is mixed up of the, a good mix of youth and a good well, mix they, of veterans. Well, the youth want to win, too. hundred percent. But let's be honest, man. You're playing with house money this year. If you would have told me Lance Lynn would have 12 wins right now to be leading the American League, I would tell you I, I wouldn't think that would be possible right now. No, uh, you, know, you know, Swish, and I, I think you're trying. It's tough for a general manager right now. He's got a tough decision to make. But, you know, I went through this when I was with the Angels. You know, we, had, we, were, in a, we were in first place. We were fighting for a pennant. We came to the trading deadline. We needed a starting pitcher. We didn't get one. And I'll tell you, the atmosphere in the clubhouse was not very good. The guys all wondered why. Well, I'll tell you one of the reasons why, because we were going to have to give up maybe one of our best players to get right. a pitcher. And that's the one thing that, you know, the Rangers have to, t you know, who are they going to have to give up to get right. some help? That's the big that's thing. That's what I'm saying. You're going to empty the cupboard for no, one guy I'm that not can get you just to the playoffs, okay. or you're trying to build your team for the future. You, you got, I'm just saying, you're not going to be, maybe you stand pat, but maybe you add one or two pieces, and if it doesn't cost you too much, it's gonna cost why you not? That, though. No, I mean, look, there's, who's out there that's going to be available unless it's a Max Scherzer or something like that and he's not going to be available. Totally. That you're going to spend and, and waste your entire farm system. I'm saying if you need one player to help you get into the Do you the think one player for the Texas Rangers is going to put them over the top? No, I don't think it'd be over the top, but then there, there are a lot of teams that are thinking the same way, not just the Rangers, right. a lot of totally, teams totally. in this position right 100%. now. 100%. You know, and, and you can't wait until uh, September like you used to when it came down to the waiver day. Yeah, you just don't know anymore. Yeah. Yeah. just don't know. 70 I mean, games is a long way to go. I think it's been an unbelievable season. I just think stick to the process, man. You're on the way up. Your, your team is moving forward. You're not going backwards. Right. This is a team that could really make a splash. And then maybe in the offseason, you get your owners to fork out a little bit of cheese, and you get that one guy that can make a necessary All right. move. All right, we'll see what happens. Right? Yeah.